Hi guys, it's me again, Dara L, and welcome to my channel. On today's episode, we will talk about the new procedure for OFWs, returning residents, and tourists arriving to Philippines. So if you're interested, please watch this. So guys, due to COVID-19 pandemic, Aviation and Airports has imposed several safety protocols for all the travelers. And since it is a safety concern, there are always new updates and new improvements on the procedure. And it is very important for us OFWs, returning residents, and tourists to be kept informed and updated on the step-by-step -step guidelines arriving to the Philippines. OFWs are requested to complete or register online on OASIS OWA website three to five days before your date of departure. This form will allow the OWA staff to have tentative count of the people or the OFWs arriving to Philippines in order for them to arrange the logistics in advance. You must also complete ECIF form or electronic case investigation form in the Philippine Red Cross website. You should also fill up the health declaration card and affidavit of undertaking form. These forms are available on the website of Clark International Airport and Philippine Airlines website. I suggest for you to prepare printed copies of all these documents to be kept on your hand carry luggage for easy access. Upon check-in, there will be health declaration form and waiver form indicating that you are fit to travel and this is for the airline purpose only. Upon arrival, there will be temperature check for health verification section. There will also Philippine Coast Guard staff or Bureau of Quarantine staff who will provide briefing. There are also the people you may approach if you have any questions. You may proceed on your designated desk for your hotel verification. For land-based OFWs, proceed on Overseas Welfare's Administration's desk. For sea-based OFW, you may proceed on LMA desk. For non-OFWs and foreign nationals, proceed on DOT desk. After that, you may proceed on RT-PCR test or swab testing booth. As of October 24, 2020, there are now options of testing facilities. Option 1. Private Laboratories. This option is for non-OFWs only. The cost is around 4,500 pesos and the result will come out maximum 12 hours. Option number 2. Philippine Red Cross Laboratories. This section is now available for OFWs. You will only need to pay 3,500 pesos and you will get the result within 1 to 2 days. Option number 3, Local Government Laboratories. This is free of charge and available for OFWs only. However, the result will take time around 2 to 4 days. Once RT-PCR test or your swab testing has been completed, you may proceed at the immigration for your clearance. You may also proceed on collecting your baggage at your designated carousel and custom check. And you can now proceed to your quarantine hotel. Take note guys that we have a shuttle bus from OWA which will take you to your quarantine hotel as private cars and taxis are not allowed. So guys, that is all for the step-by-step -step process on arriving to Philippines. I hope this will help you on your journey. Good luck!